Country Family, this is Godzilla Train 1090. So on today, today we fit a brand new review. And today, we actually have a triple review, guys. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since I did a triple review. I think I've done one since the X Plus uh, 30 centimeter set of Gamma and Gauss, as well as Bell Ugon. So today, I'm going to do another triple review, even though I know you see two boxes here. I'll explain in a second. So today, I'm going to be talking about the S8 Monster Arts, Godzilla 1972. That's a small star arts Gigan as from 1972, as well as the Godzilla Tower. In a sense, Godzilla versus Gigan review today. So, as I just mentioned, I do only have two boxes. The reason why is Gigan didn't come with a box. Gigan came in a little boring brown box, and then came in a little uh, came in, came in some plastic. So we don't have that box to show off today. I know, I know, I some start trying to show boxes in more of my reviews. But that's just not an option today. So we're going to show these two bad boys first before we begin to review. So of course we'll start with Godzilla, Godzilla's box. Um, this is really the first official 1972 Godzilla we've gotten in one of the larger lines, one of the larger lines in a while. I know X Plus did come out with the 1972, 70, 1972 25 centimeter X Plus version of Godzilla, but we all know that was just a 71 with a bad paint job as blood. So, yeah. But, so, this is honestly my first 1972 Godzilla. So, I am excited. To, uh, I was excited to get this in my collection. I didn't pre order it like everybody else did. I wasn't sure I was going to get it until I saw my Godzilla Tower and then I had to get it. So, as you see here, it has this, uh, look, a nice picture of Godzilla right here on the front. And on the back, it does have more pictures of Godzilla and Gigan. And nothing really on, well, no, on the side right here, it does show Godzilla kind of hiding right here. And of course, it has Godzilla's name right here on the side also. Of course, from Bandai, uh, the Mission Nation, and of course, it has all the Godzilla logos that we have here. The 2004, lo the, 2000, the 2024 logo, as well as the original Godzilla logo. This Godzilla on there in general. And then of course, the 70th anniversary because it is Godzilla's 70th anniversary. This this anniversary was from this anniversary came out last year and a lot of colors are just not getting this, these things in hands. Um, I think people saw Gummy here. I think I want to say February, maybe late January. So they've been coming out for a while, but I'm just not getting my hands on them. So next one, of course, get this one off the way and we're talking about Gigan. So of course, if you if you know me well enough, Gigan is my second favorite villain in the Godzilla series. I absolutely love 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 Gigan. Currently, I before I got this Gigan, I didn't have a Gigan in my collection. I'm actually working with Marcellus, Marcellus Winters to have a special project for to add another Gigan to my collection. I can't wait for that. And of course, yeah, I do have the Final Wars Gigan, but you can't beat the 72. 72's, 72, 72 Gigan. It's the best Gigan there is. And of course, this box, this is a nice little pretty box. And unlike Godzilla's box with the clear window, this box does not have a clear window whatsoever. It just has Gigan's name. Of course, Gigan's 50th anniversary tag right here. And the beautiful picture of Gigan. <clears throat> of course, on the side, we do have another picture of Gigan right here in black and white. Why black and white? I don't know. Don't ask me, please. And of course, Gigan is going to be on the side here just in this lettering. And then, of course, on the back, some more pictures of Gigan. Possible ways for you to pose them, pose them with, of course, Godzilla. But, again, like I said, we do have a third thing that we're going to talk about today. And that's going to be the Godzilla Tower. But, again, that doesn't really have a box for me to show off to y'all. So, what I'm going to do is get both of these out of the way. And instead of talking about boxes, let's go ahead and get an up-close look and personal look at the, at, the, at the figures mentioned above. Thank you. And first, we have the S8 Monster Arts Gaian. And as you see here, this is the, um, again, this is the Gaian from uh, 1972's Godzilla vs. Gaian. And I will say that S8 Monster Art lovers have been waiting for this for a very long time. We have not gotten the Gaian in this line yet. And this looks absolutely phenomenal. Now, of course, I'll... Um, We'll go over the paint app. The paint app looks pretty good. Kind of looks like more of a darker, like Gigan at nighttime. So I really dig that, honestly. Of course, we uh, they wasn't lazy. They did paint all the spikes up the tail. 
has to have that goat, that golden hue on top of it with the green underneath the tail. And of course, Gigan's uh Gigan's dorsal fins or dorsal spikes, whatever you want to call them. That um they have and of course on the spikes, it does have uh, the, the the red hue on it on the bottom, and towards the top, it's definitely more white. Of course, you know we have to look at the articulation. I'll have articulation in both of the arms. Um but no articulation in the saw, which is very, very disappointing. But I guess it is what it is. Of course, the mouth opens, opens and closes, and of course, so does his, so does his pinchers. Is also uh, go in and out. So I think that's a pretty nice touch. Um, I don't know when I'll have his pinchers closed like that, but whatever. Of course, articulation in the legs as well as in the knees. I'm not gonna lie. I always have to use kitty gloves when I handle SH Monster Arts, so I will not be completely bent in the knee or anything like that. Of course, and then you also see that the the his dorsal plates also move also, which I think is pretty awesome because you, because if you want to have guy getting enough more of a flying pose, you can have them more wide open, or you have them a little bit closer together. And of course, there's some a little bit of articulation in the tail. Again, when it comes to SH Monster Art figures, I always have a bad habit of snapping the ball joints from the tail. Always. So I will not be completely articulating this tail. Uh, I'm sorry, not sorry, because I really don't feel like breaking this thing since I just got him in the mill maybe a day ago. And here is the 1972 Godzilla. And of course, I'm, like I mentioned, we don't get that many 72s. We don't have that many representations of 1972 Godzilla. Yes, X Plus did the 25-centimeter version, but that was just a 71 with the with the paint app of the blood. But as you see, this does look pretty amazing. I will also let you get a good look at him. The nails are painted pretty, pretty good. The scar on his face is painted really well. One thing I did notice that you'll see once I get to the other side that he did miss was the cut on his shoulder. Which a lot of people, if you don't notice that, Gazo does get cut on the shoulder when Gigan runs through him, and you can actually see the blood coming from his shoulder in later shots of that film. Now, one grip I do have is with the tail. I don't know why they got lazy. They they painted the tail halfway up, and then it was this the rest of the tail is like, you know what? We're not gonna paint the rest of the, the rest of this. We're not gonna do it. I don't know why they did that. I'm not the only one that's had this issue either. I know other collectors who have this figures also mention that as well. But overall, this is a cool figure. Of course, we got the silver dorsal plates that this Godzilla does have. And again, as you can see on the right shoulder, we don't have any blood. But obviously, with SH Monster, this is articulated as well. So the arms do move. The mouth uh, opens and closes. I wish the neck had a little bit more movement. Maybe it's me being afraid to break the thing where I don't really move the head back and forth that much. But the mouth does open and close. You can move his arms and you can move his wrist also to put in a different pose same thing with the legs and the knee joints and actually the feet a little bit too you can kind of play with those a bit too if you really really needed to and wanted to for whatever shot you're trying to get for your photography but this is a really nice release this does look phenomenal and looks just like the 1972 godzilla SH Martial Arts did an incredible job with this but of course, this is only the second of the third figure that we're going to be reviewing. And the third one is the Toho Maniacs Godzilla Tower. And oh my God. Y'all know how long we've been waiting for Godzilla Tower. Y'all know this. Godzilla fans everywhere. The only the only Godzilla Tower representation we have is of the moment, either the yellow, red, and I don't know why. I want to say there's a green version of the Godzilla Tower also. But we don't have a realistic version of it. And I would, what did I do? I wish it was uh, in a 25 or 30 centimeter line, obviously. But even with this being a Toho Maniacs line, this does look phenomenal. You can see how clear, how clear it is inside the building. Um, everything is painted pretty pristine. Um, everything's pretty screen accurate. White toes, very white dorsal plates. The tail isn't obnoxiously long. They did a really good job getting this figure as well as they could in this teeny tiny package. I guess not teeny tiny. Teeny tiny is... Never mind. But, they, like I said, they did do a phenomenal job getting this. Of course, I kept the tag. I have the tag on mine for now. I do need to do the hairdryer method to get the tag out. 
So whenever I do do my photography with this that I haven't done just yet, but pretty soon here I will. But this does look uh, really good in there. The tag looks pretty awesome. And I don't I do have the balloon that comes with it, but I honestly don't like having it in there. It looks funky to me. But for the ones that are looking to get this figure and what to put the balloon in there, you see right there to the side of his foot on his uh, right side of his foot. You see that little hole right there. That's actually where the balloon goes. You see the balloon. So you have the balloon coming from the Godzilla Tower as well when they escape during the movie. But yes, I have no complaints with this release whatsoever. This thing is phenomenal. It looks incredible. And I'm really glad I have this in my collection. But of course, we're only going to do one size comparison. That's going to be with all three of these awesome figures. And wow, this is a shot that no one, no one, no one, no one thought we would ever, ever, ever get. Especially in the SH Monster Arts line. Yes, got the Godzilla is the Godzilla Tower is Toho Maniacs X Plus, but this look, look at them. They look they, oh my god, they look so good together. This is an awesome shot. I really can't wait to do actual photography of all these. Since I just got Gigan, it's ramping up for me to start doing some photography with these guys because this does look incredible. It looks awesome. And I have no and again, I have no regrets. Getting getting all of these together because they do look incredible together. But y'all, let me know in the comment section. Out of the, out of the three, which one is y'all's favorite between Godzilla, Gigant, or the Godzilla Tower? But all right, uh, that's all I got for uh, for this. I'll go ahead and put a ca camera back and finish off this review for y'all. Thank you. View on the SS Monster Arts 1972 Godzilla and Gagan, as well as the Godzilla Tower from X Plus from the Toho Maniac series. Now, honestly, I'm really I'm happy that I have all three of these in my collection. I mean, first, of course, first with the Godzilla Tower, this is the this is probably the thing I was looking forward to most getting this year. Um, before some, but like as of, for last year, this is the thing I was first, the very first thing I was excited about getting this year. So I am ex excited. I do have this in my collection. This is a really, really awesome looking figure. And of course, as you see, the SH Marsar figures go pretty, pretty well with it. Honestly, I mean, so maybe a little out of scale, but I mean, look good. It looks good to me, honestly, and I'm really happy for it. And I honestly can't wait to try and get a chance to do some photography with them. At least with Godzilla and Gigan. Of course, Godzilla Tower will be there sitting in the background, but he's not. there's not really too much you can do. But it's okay. That's all right, because I do still enjoy having all three of these in my collection. They all look great together. Um, not going to get a SH Monster Arts King of Door or the the, the Revantech in Gears. I'm not going to be a completionist. This will do just fine for me. <laughs> but um, that's the end of this review, guys. Um, again, I am happy that I do have all these in my collection. Y'all know I don't really collect SH Monster Arts like that, but, or articulate figures like that in general, but I mean, I thought this was, I thought this release was worth, worth getting, especially since this Godzilla did come at a pretty cheap price. Guy Gang was pretty much retail. I couldn't be, I couldn't pass it up, especially with the Godzilla Tower now. You need a companion. And I will say that I do still want a 30 centimeter Godzilla Tower. I doubt we get it, but it's it's a nice thought, I guess. But uh, coming up next, uh, of course, I know I, I have been telling you that I have a lot of stuff kind of on backlog. <laughs> as far as getting reviews done while I'm just trying to settle in here. But my next review, I, I'm not going to say what it is. I'm going to leave that surprise. But I will promise you it will be coming in a couple weeks. And of course, at the time of this recording, um, our next show is going to be, I need to double check, I want to say April 17th. Um, we will be talking about Godzilla X Kong on Mo the Monsters of Attitude YouTube channel. So definitely check us out there. And also, we're going to be doing a little bit, a little bit, a few things on Twitch, actually. Um, again, the day of this recording, we're actually going to be stream streaming on Twitch on our Monsters of Attitude Twitch channel. Me, me, Eric, and Samson, 
we're going to be diving into Halo Reach together. So that's definitely going to be a fun, fun time. I might hear me scream a tap bit, a tip bit, but I'm going to try and be as manly as I can. <laughs> but playing video games, it does kind of bring out the girl scream. So I always, just, for, just for fun. I mean, we're just going to have fun, guys. I'm looking forward to doing that. And hopefully seeing some of y'all there. I'm looking forward to pump out more reviews for y'all. Because, again, it has, it, I feel like it has been a while since I've been able to do reviews. Um, so I'm really excited to get back into the, into the swing of things. All right. I'll talk to I'll talk to you guys later. You'll have a great night, Kaiji family. Mm -hmm.